Hello everyone and welcome to the Starseed Dragon Channel. This is in an oracle review and I also um, I wanted to show you another item that I purchased used over at Macari.com. Now I know that a lot of the reviews that I have have affiliate links um, and I use Amazon a lot because that is Amazon's just you know, you can get it everywhere. And I wanted it to be, I wanted my reviews and to be accessible to everyone. But I must say that Amazon isn't the only place that you can buy um, items like these. And sometimes it's uh, beneficial to buy used items. So this Oracle I got from Mercari used at a very reasonable price. Um, I don't know if everyone in the world has Mercari, but you know, there are Ebays and Facebook Marketplace and, and so on and so forth. I buy a lot of stuff on abooks.com that are pre-owned items and hard to find items. And if there's ever a deck that you want that's maybe out of print or, um, is just really difficult to find, you know, or if you want an original version or a previous edition than what's currently in print and, you know, out in the general marketplace, then, you know, go into places like Mercari and, you know, uh, Ebays and things like that are, are probably beneficial. But I wanted to show you uh, some of the finds that I can that I can find, and um, maybe they'll inspire you to um, take a look for yourself and be a little resourceful wherever you're at to, to see what online marketplaces uh, have items for sale. This deck is the Illustrated Bestiary Collectible Box Set, Guidance and Rituals from 36 Inspiring Animals, Includes hardcover book, deluxe oracle, card set, and carrying pouch by Maya Toll. Illustrated by, what is that, Kate O'Hara. And it's a lovely box. It's upside down on the back, but that's all right. I'll flip it around when we get back together. But this is a lovely, it's a hard, a hardcover book. And look at this. This is amazing. I don't know when this was printed. Let's find out. Let me get my reading glasses on here. So this was printed in 2019. So it might still be in print. I don't know. Um, but it's something that I saw on Mercari. And I thought, you know, this looks like something that... I would really like to um, review. And the funny thing about this is the cards have the page numbers uh, to the, to the um, description. So I will show you, hold on. So it, it came in this beautiful little pouch. I got a new stand and I'm not sure if I like it, but it's awfully sturdy. So it, it won't, my stand won't fall over. That's for sure. So here's the cards. They have gold gilding. It looks like a brand new deck, right? And here's the back of them. Let me just measure the cards just for consistency sake, right? Let's see. Approximately five inches or 12 centimeters by approximately, looks like just over three and a half inches or nine centimeters approximately. And let me show you what I was talking about. I did order these before I turned the camera on. <laughs> See here where it says, 
page number, page 19. If we flip over in the book to page 19, here's the description. Isn't that gorgeous? What a great, um, a great thing to do on a deck of cards. So it has a little de description here. And uh, it'll say your ritual, map your mood, uh, reflection, the power of the pivot. And then ritual and reflection. So they all have ritual and reflection. I'm just going to read the front part, the, the description part. Um, and um, if this is something that you like and you want to pick up, you can read the rest of the book. <laughs> I know I will. Um, but let's get started on these cards. There are 36 cards. And you know that when I read descriptions, my my um, my videos end up becoming very long. There we go. There, now you can see them. Okay, so we have the white-tailed deer. Step delicately and truly, deer advises, trust your intention intuition, and your ability to move decisively. The first step in taking decisive action is to pause and get the lay of the land. Never one for snap decisions, deer freezes, feeling into each new situation. Reaching out with all her senses, then steps gracefully and surely into whatever's next. She'll gift you with self-confidence, especially as you move through life's cyclical changes. Those times when one season of your life is ending and another is about to begin. Trust Deer's medicine to help you make a definitive decision and then step into it with grace. Beautiful. So the next card is Red Salmon, page 23. Oh, I just noticed that at the top of the page, pause, assess, act. <laughs> so this one says, navigate life with determination. Navigate life with determination. Okay, Red Salmon. Quit griping and get going, quips Salmon, and she should know Salmon swims thousands of miles undaunted by eagles, bears, and waterfalls, and just when she's at her weakest and most exhausted, her route turns mostly upstream. This isn't an accident. Salmon didn't get lost or find herself turned around. On the contrary, Salmon is one of the finest navigators to swim the seven seas. She can always find her way home. Salmon will help you plumb the depths of your own unconscious to discover the energy and determination to get your soul's destination. Call on Salmon to help you navigate life with determination, meaning, and purpose. Beautiful. Okay, common raven. Align your inner compass. Page 27. Deep in raven's heart is an ancient secret, a memory as tattered as his feathers are after harrying hawks. Few alive remember that Raven used to be as white as freshly fallen snow. Having himself been through the subtle shifting of transformation and rebirth, 
Raven knows that the world is often not quite what it seems. In the blink of an eye, light becomes shadow and shadow shifts to light. And so Raven is not one for rules or morality. Raven knows that sometimes the only way to course correct is to step out of the boxes culture creates, to step out of the boxes culture creates and align instead with your inner compass. What's the highest good? Asked the winged trickster. And what are you willing to sacrifice to bring it into the light? Very good questions. Okay. Monarch Butterfly, digest your past. Page 31. Before Butterfly can earn her wings, she turns inward, examining all she has been, digesting the pieces of her own past. This is quiet work, womb work, so she shuts herself away from the world to begin the deconstruction. As she performs the rites of unmaking, she sacrifices every bit of self on the altar of transformation. Finally, her body reduced to a soup of cells. Butterfly checks her blueprint, pulling proteins into wings, preparing finally for flight. If Monarch Butterfly appears in your life, it's time to begin the shedding, digesting your past and doing the work that prepares you for flight. Wow, that's pretty deep. Pretty deep. Deep indeed. Okay. Spring keeper or spring peeper. Evolve into your next becoming. Page 35. Big name, small frog. So small, in fact, that you may think, think you don't know this critter at all. But if you've cracked a window on an early spring evening, you've probably heard the peeper chorus chirping of metamorphosis and growing into their fullest potential. These wee frogs remind you to embrace your innate ability to evolve, especially when you think you've forgotten how. Peepers start life as tadpoles, then grow legs, and that's just part of their magic. Peeper also has a backup plan for breathing. He can take in oxygen through his skin. Call on him when you've forgotten how to breathe and life feels impossible, or when you need to grow a new set of legs to carry you into your next becoming. Beautiful. Uh, common Tortoise, Steady On, page 39. Slow and steady, says Tortoise, well versed in the ways of time. Tortoise was born ancient, older than snake or alligator, and certainly older than humans. As other species have changed, evolved, and shifted, Tortoise has remained steadfast, late to almost everything. Tortoise is the totem of a slow bloomer. There's no need to be a prodigy, Tortoise assures you. You don't miss the boat simply because your first few decades have passed. Hunker down, connect with the earth, take a siesta. It's through the slow and steady that we truly come to know ourselves. Those are very wise words. I really... I'm falling in love with this deck already. So glad I got this deck. I gotta tell you, the energy in it is phenomenal. And yes, I did sage it when I, when I first got it. Always sage your decks, old or new, when you first receive them, sage your decks and clarify them. Next card, Black Snake, Grow Your Truth. Page 43. 
Many moons ago, in a garden far away, Snake slid up to Eve and said, You have a choice. While free will isn't evil, it's, it is complex. It requires each of us to define our own moral center and know what we stand for. Without this knowledge, it's easy to steer off course or be misled by smooth talkers and slick ideas. We grow when we see through the rhetoric and acknowledge our own truth. Each true choice expands you until as you outgrow your, uh, as you out, outgrow who you used to be, your past begins to bind an itch. Black snake slides in to remind you that growth requires release. She says, let go of what no longer serves so you can continue to expand into your truest self. Well, that is quite truthful. Beautiful deck. Screech Owl. Get creative. Page 47. Clever Screech Owl has figured out how to get housekeeping service in her um, airy. Irie. In her air airy she brings a blind snake a small creature who feeds on ants and flies into her nest to eat the insects who would otherwise get into owl's food stash screech owl is endlessly creative she'll play chameleon blending into the trees her feathers forming a near perfect imitation of bark. If she wants a little extra camouflage, she'll pretend to be a branch, making herself skinny and swaying gently so she looks just like another limb dancing in the breeze. When you hear Screech Owl trilling her melancholy, melancholy song, it's time to get clever and creative with life's challenges. I am really enjoying this deck a lot. Great purchase. Um, cow and Bull Appreciate the Process, page 51. A lot of what cow and bull eat is indigestible to other animals. Cow and bull munch on field grass, undeterred by the tenacious fiber. After filling their bellies, they lie down to chew their cud, calmly working over the same meal, breaking it into smaller and smaller bits. Cows and bulls, like good therapists, know how to process. They luxuriate in regurgitation and slow assimilation, taking what is unpalpable and making it into a full meal. To the ancients, this made them gods and goddesses, bringing a fecundity in even the harshest conditions. For modern humans, cow and bull remind us to relax and appreciate process, the slow rumination that allows even the toughest problems to become digestible. Cow and bull remind you that, the, that almost anything can be handled and assimilate if you give it time. Black Bear, Sync with the Cycles, page 55. On behalf of, on, I'm sorry, on a half moon night, watching Black Bear stretch up on her hind legs to climb your back fence, you might think for a moment that you have a very human burglar about to break in. Like us humans, Black Bear can stand tall a conduit between earth and sky. Because of this, she is seen as our mirror self. 
our wild sister tapped into healing wisdom and lush instinct. Black bear connects deeply with the part of your psyche that longs to burrow under the blankets for the entirety of winter and emerge blinking into the light with new projects clinging to your skirt like cubs. Don't fight the cycles and seasons. Black Bear teaches. Call on her to rediscover your rhythm and remember your wild. Gray Wolf, Nurture Connections, page 59. Gray Wolf's power comes from understanding the intricacies of our bonds with each other. Watch, Wolf whispers. Let words and speech become background babble and instead focus on the eyes, the twitching muscles in the jaw. Begin to feel into complex social situations, intuiting connections and uh, relationships. This is how you learn who to trust, how you learn who leads. Play and tend, Wolf reminds. This is how you build the bonds of tribe, a sense of wholeness. Wolf knows that you are a shimmering thread in a larger tapestry, part of an integral weaving of family and community. Understanding social dynamics and how to play them is Wolf's special medicine. Next up. Broad-winged catadid. Discover the pattern, page 63. Like his cousin Cricket, catadid is has five eyes. Really? He fixes them on life's intricacies, noticing details often missed by those of us with dual vision. From his perch atop the oak tree, he takes in the glow of the moon, the shadow of a tree limb, the stars burning holes in the night sky. These compounded images come together, coalescing into one, showing the slow evolution of the world as it changes. Details create patterns. Patterns create rhythm. Katadid knows what's to come because he understands the design of what has been. When Katadid appears, look to the details so you too can begin to feel the rhythm and predict the future through the patterns of the present. Beautiful. Whooper Swan, Love Fiercely, fiercely page 67. In the darkness of year's end, Swan flies north. North is where the spirits gather, so Swan willingly carries with her the souls of the recently departed. She loves them as fiercely and tenderly as she loves her own mate, and so sees them all the way home. Some say that when she returns in spring, a wisp of those she carried clings to her, a mirror and a memory, making Swan feel like family, like kin to those who have loved and lost. Perhaps, that, perhaps that's why we sometimes see Swan rising from the lake, shape-shifting into the form of our beloved, demanding the sacrifices that only the fiercest love can fathom. Um, Swan reminds us that when we love fiercely, our love is never truly lost. That is gorgeous. That almost made me shed some tears. <laughs> Beautiful message. 
House Mouse, Work Together, page 71. Mouse is unobtru unobtrusive, slipping between cracks and scurrying behind walls. We notice her by the destruction she leaves behind, chewed wires and ruined books, food made inedible to us by her munching. Mouse churns through paper at an inevitable rate, uh, destroying in hours what it took years to create. That's because Mouse rarely goes it alone. She has help. Mouse breeds prophetically, prolifically, sorry, prolifically. Where there is one, there are sure to be more. And once you have not mouse, but mice, it's mind-boggling what havoc these small creatures can wreak. Work together, Mouse advises. You don't have to be big to be mighty. That is true. Gestation period for a mouse is only 28 days. Okay, sea turtle, find your element, page 75. On the beaches of her birth, Sea Turtle is frustratingly awkward. She paddles for purchase in the slippery sand, which she returns to only to lay her eggs. Even this is not a yearly practice. Her homecoming happens only every few years when she can no longer resist the call of her home beach. The rest of the time, she is a creature of water, smoothly swimming great distances and frolicking in the sun-drenched ocean. While birth delivered her to the sandy shore, this ancient creature is most herself when out of her element. Water is her true home, a place where she is quick and graceful and joyous. If you feel uncomfortable in your natal family or place of origin, Call on Sea Turtle to help you find your natural element. Beautiful. This deck is just so heartwarming, and I just, I feel so much joy with this deck. Okay, Nut Hatch. Change your perspective. I just need to sip some coffee. Okay, page 79. Up is down and down is up. To nuthatch, it really doesn't matter. This little bird has no trouble when life gets topsy-turvy. A backward pointing toe lets its quirky friend walk down tree trunks while other birds can only climb up. Is Nuthatch simply being contrarian, or is going against the grain serving some special purpose? Here's a hint. When you flip everything over, the world looks dramatically different. This allows Nuthatch to store his winter seed uh, stash in plain sight for him. But to other birds, it's hidden by folds in the bark. Nuthatch reminds you to approach your usual problems from a different direction. A change of perspective makes all the difference. I'm really, really digging this, um, this deck. Okay. Uh, spotted Skunk, stand up for yourself. While Spotted Skunk may be known for causing a stink, Smelling up the room is really a last resort. First, she goes big, standing on her front legs, fanning her tail in the air, and stomping forward, so she seems fierce and imposing. <clears throat> Skunk can make herself appear larger than her naturally dim diminutive uh, stature, glamouring even the toughest customers into leaving her alone. Here's the thing. While Spotted Skunk doesn't back down, the harm she creates is pure illusion. 
Sure, the unwary will be stinky for a stretch, but Skunk stands up for herself without causing permanent damage. Can you find a way to both stand up for yourself and do no harm? Very true. Very, very true. Barn Owl, Listen for Spirits, page 87. On a dark moon night, Barn Owl swoops low over the fields. Her wing beats are not only nearly silent, but create a wake of quietude, a vortex of otherness. Crossing her path feels like crossing over into elsewhere, and so... Barn Owl has long been a messenger between the worlds, bringing word from the realm of spirits and ghosts. Barn Owl hunts even on the darkest nights, her ears picking up the small chattering of mice and the soft sound of grass brushing against a rabbit's skin. Or maybe she simply senses their souls as they go about their nightly business. Close your eyes, Barn Owl whispers, and open your ears to the sound of spirits. Orca, dive under the surface. Page 91. When you look at the ocean or the surface of a lake, the first thing you see is a reflection of the sky. The water's surface is a mirror hiding the depths. When you dive deep, you discover there are worlds within worlds below that mirrored surface. Underwater is its own magical kingdom, a world with love and song and family, in a language of the lumination of the Pacific Northwest. The word for orca translates as the people beneath the sea. Orca holds up a mirror, showing us another possible world with one, uh, one with different ways of communicating and creating family. Orca asks, what is possible when you dive under the surface? Are there other ways to live and be? Can you create an alter alternate world for yourself? Good question. Very thoughtful. Beaver. Make manifest. Page 95. Beaver doesn't just sit around thinking. He plans, then executes carefully, uh, uh, then executes, carefully damming up waterways to construct the ponds and swamp lands where he builds his island home and that home is a marvel of modern engineering with an underwater entrance snug dry bedrooms and plenty of storage for winter foodstuffs beaver knows how to fundamentally change landscapes bringing water to barren are areas call on beaver when you are ready for foundational change whether remaking an inner landscape or creating something new in the world at large, Beaver teaches us not only how to make manifest, moving from thought to reality, but how to plan for the future. Whatever you hope to accomplish, call on Beaver's medicine to help you go from idea to done. Zigzag spider, everything is connected. Page 99. Spider crouches on her web, feeling the strands of creation. Everything is connected, she murmurs, and understanding those connections is key. So while spider seems to be sitting on her web, waiting for dinner, she act she's actually taking the temperature of the world and listening for a connection. When the breeze ruffles, 
the web's threads, Spider senses the force and direction. The morning dew is thick. Spider sees she knows that autumn is upon us and beyond that winter. When flies are scarce, your world too is a web. Pause a moment and feel the play on the different strands and how that affects the overall weaving. Spider reminds you to be still and take the time to understand inner connections. Pleated Woodpecker, free your inner fire. Hmm. Page 103, Woodpecker drums with abandon. He'll tap on trees, rain gutters, and garbage cans. His noise, a gift from the thunder gods themselves. Can you give yourself over to this type of passion? Can you dance the primal rhythm that calls the rain? Our critical minds often get in the way of our creativity and joy. A big part of your brain's job is to keep you safe and giving in to passion can be dangerous. But Woodpecker has a secret. He wraps his tongue around his brain to protect it from this uh, concussive rhythm. Woodpecker is calling you to get in sync, to move and dance and drum. How can you free your inner fire? Interesting. My favorite, Asian elephants. Honor Lineage, page 107. Elephant stands in the river of time, honoring the past and nurturing the future, always feeling the lines of lineage radiating both forward and back. She remembers her ancestors, the mastodons and the mammoths, the long extinct cousins in this ancient family, and knows she is a link in the chain of life. Her daughters will someday, someday be monarchs and then mere bone, fossils that will someday point to a species that no longer exists. You too are a link, a bridge between what came before and what is yet to come. As you move through your life, honor not only what is past, but what is yet to be. Earthhorn, discover your purpose. Page 111. Life is straightforward when you know your purpose. While Earthworm may seem a sim simple creature, she knows her purpose well. She brings life. Earthworm wiggles through the soil, creating space for air and water, which is the lifeblood of dirt. Minerals we wriggle through earthworms' body, getting digested so they are more available when the trees and plants come looking for a meal. Earthworm even regenerates herself, growing new sections when bits have been lopped off by a careless shovel. Regeneration is earthworms' life purpose and daily work. What's your daily work? Earthworm reminds you that life is simpler when you connect your daily doings with your greater purpose. Interesting. Food for thought right there. Sea Eagle, renew your life, page 115. When Old Eagle can no longer spot pike jumping in the sea when her wings feel heavy and slow she remembers the lore of reincarnation this mystery is passed down to those of her kind 
who, as fledglings, are strong enough to look straight into the fiery sun. As the ancient knowing uh, rises in her soul, Eagle finds a well of clear, clean water. With that well as her tether to earth, she leaps skyward and sunward, flying up till her feathers sear and the fog is burned from her eyes. Then she plummets back to earth into the depths of the well's water, emerging renewed. Eagle reminds us that life moves in cycles. When you get tired and burned out, draw on the wisdom of your soul to find renewal. Wow, like a phoenix, right? Andalusian Horse, Transcend Yourself, page 119. While it's well known that horse can carry your body, what's less known is that horse can transport your soul. In times past, if you wanted to visit your sister in the next village, you called on horse. And when you wanted to visit your great-grandmother in the lands beyond, you also called on horse. Horse is a companion and guide whose gift is the freedom to transcend physical incarna incarnation. Whether your body needs to move through space or your soul needs to glide through time, horse beckons you to your journey. When you're not sure you can make it there alone, call on horse to carry you. Horse says, it's time to transcend your current way of being. Eastern Oyster, deal with the dirt. Page one, two, three. Life is messy, but that doesn't bother oyster. Water pollution, no problem. Oyster will filter it, package it up, and send it to the bottom of the sea. Grit and sand, easy peasy. Oyster will cover it with layer upon layer of uh, necker and, until it shines. Oyster's magic is knowing how to deal with the dirt. If this unlikely animal ally is appearing, see what's gotten grungy. Is your home a mess? Your partnerships? your thoughts. Look within and decide what you need to filter out and what you'll keep and transform into your own pearl. Interesting. Honeybee, navigate by the sun. Page 127. Honeybee flies a zigzag path, searching for paths of pollen. When she finds one, she flies home to the hive where she dances to let the others know the pollen's location. Honeybee is efficient in this aerial charade, uh, showing with her body the exact angle that the sun hits the pollen patch. Her sisters triangulate the location so that they can join in the feast. Bee's internal compass is incredibly accurate. She can find the sun even on a cloudy day. The sun has traditionally represented expansive moving energies. Our passions and our ability to make those passions manifest in the world. When life is feeling cloudy and dull, Call on Honeybee to help you navigate toward joy. During dark times, she reminds you that clouds pass and your passion and purpose will be revealed again. House Finch, Know Your Song, page 131. House Finch's song is so sunny and sweet 
that in the 1940s, a spectacular uh, tried or a, oh, a speculator tried to sell this small bird as a pet, which he called the Hollywood finch, a reference to the finch's West Coast roots. The ploy was a flop, perhaps because house finch can't compete with parrot for beauty and cage appeal. Unable to sell his stash of songbirds, the spectacular er, speculator uh, released House Finch and friends on Long Island, and from there they quickly spread to bird feeders across the United States. If you, like Finch, have ever been deemed not enough, remember this is exactly how House Finch escaped his gilded cage. Despite being judged as not enough, Finch still sings like a star. You too have a strength, a song. Do you know what it is? That's beautiful. It just, that almost brought me to tears. This is just, these descriptions are just so very meaningful. I don't, I don't know if you are feeling it too, but I'm really, really liking this deck. So we have Tabby Cat, You Are Worthy, page 135. Twitching in the sunlight, Tabby Cat has ancestral dreams of savannas and sleeping in rocky crevices. A descendant of the wild ones, Tabby still bears the remnants of her stripes and spots, but she's pleased to have moved indoors. Adopting humans was a brilliant move, she purrs. Stretching and kneading her paws, Tabby never wonders if she's earned the warm patch of sunlight by the window or the bit of tuna in her evening meal. She never doubts that she is worthy. Tabby licks a paw to smooth the fur behind her ear. You are already enough, she reminds you. Breathe into that knowing. Five Lined Skink, Delight in Daring, page 139. Five Lined Skink is an adrenaline junkie the evil Knievel of the lizard world. This speed demon flashes his bright blue tail, baiting hawks and snakes. Catch me if you can, Skink trills, diving into a crevice. Skink knows he's super fast, but that's not why he baits the big boys. His superpower is beyond speed. Skink can lose his tail and live, so he flicks it around like a bright blue flag and then scurries for the shadows, cackling as he goes. Skink reminds you to delight in daring what are that you really live, that to really live, you have to be willing to risk your tail. <laughs> True. I don't know about you, but I needed to hear that today. <laughs> okay. Little Owl, key in to wisdom. Little Owl has been the companion of a goddess and the patron of a city. So don't let the word little fool you. This icon of wisdom sat on the Athena's blind side illuminating what even a goddess could not see. Athena, Greek goddess of wisdom, knew that being wise requires uh, us to acknowledge our own weaknesses, to understand that even goddesses are not all-knowing. Blindness in and of itself is not a fault. Failure comes from refusing to call on those who will help you 
understand the whole. Little Owl sees what you cannot. Call on her when you're ready to listen. Red Fox, Shapeshift. Despite being a redhead, Fox understands the subtleties of camouflage. One moment she seems to be a small dog, the next a log, and then she'll move gracefully as a cat. In Asia, she's been seen wearing the face of a beautiful woman and some, sometimes of an old man. Fox is said to gain a tail as she masters her magic. A fox with nine tails knows many things, including invincibility, invisibility, and the art of shape-shifting. Fox is a starlet-turned-spy, ready to stand out or blend in, and having the wisdom to know which is needed. Fox teaches that your exterior is an ever-changeable illusion. If she has appeared, see if it's time for a shift, or if perhaps someone is being shifty with you. Blue Damselfly, Commune with Nature, page 151. Damselfly is a creature of water and sunlight, her rainbow wings moving faster than the human eye can follow, only partially of its mortal realm. Damselfly can lead you to the inter- interstitial spaces where magic lives and the earth elements dance, showing you the rich complexity that exists in even the smallest patch of the natural world. Look to these tiny beings to be seduced uh, so you can fall in love again with the wonder of life and be an I'm sorry, being alive. When you release the illusions woven by culture and civilization, you'll find your own effervescence and iridescence. What's real, Blue Damselfly asks, and what do you want to be real? River Otter, Slide into Joy, page 155. This fashionista of the waterways stays warm in her plush fur coat and by wriggling and squiggling, generating heat with her ridiculously high metabolism. River Otter's inner fire is fueled by constant snacking on crayfish and crabs. The... <clears throat> The cynical might say she's joyful because she gets to eat all day and not gain an ounce. But River Otter knows that when you're lit from within, life provides endless amusement. Take that muddy riverbank, for instance, River Otter says. I see a water slide. Do you see it? River Otter reminds you to actively look for joy. She knows it's there waiting to be found. That is beautiful. And this, I believe, yep, last card. Human, remember forgetting, page 159. Someday when the animals gather to get to tell the tales of being, they will say, remember when humans went through the great forgetting? They forgot they were one of us. They forgot we were all brothers and sisters. They forgot they too are of the earth. 
The animals will shake their heads and ruffle their feathers, remembering the rift and near catastrophic destruction the human caused in the throes of their forgetting. Even now, humans know there is something missing, something lost. We live our lives with a nagging nostalgia, a longing for something we can't quite name. What is it that you are forgetting? That is gorgeous. Beautiful, beautiful deck. Um, I am absolutely amazed by it. And I cannot wait to start using it. And again, this deck was um, purchased on Mercari. I was purchased used when I received it. I do what I do with every deck I um, purchase. And I saved it. And it's, um, it's quite gorgeous. I love it. I think it is amazing and the book is beautiful but look now I have to go and find I have to go and find these other ones because now I'm in love right there's another one discover the wild wisdom of plants with Maya Toll's first book the illustrated herbary so now I'm gonna have to find that and uh, maybe I'll review it. I don't know. I'll read it, then I will we'll give you a breakdown and review it. How does that sound? I have to find it first. So there's that. And there you have it. There is this beautiful, beautiful set. And I got it on Mercari. I have a link. It's not an affiliate link. It's not going to hurt you if you click on it. I have a link in the description box that will take you to Mercari so you could do your own searches um, in your own area and uh, see what you can find. What does it hurt? But be sure. I like Mercari because you can you could send a message instantly to the seller and you can um, ask lots of questions and on Mercari, they usually respond right away. So, you know, go check it out. I mean, I have my own shop on Mercari and I love it. I think it's I think it's better than eBay, to tell you the truth. So, you know, check it out. Maybe there's something like Mercari. If you don't get Mercari in, in your area where you live, maybe there's another something that, that you do uh, that you go to in your area. If there is, Put that information in the comment section below so we can all um, maybe exchange that information with each other and help each other find these wonderful, beautiful finds. Other than that, if there is a review that you would like, a deck that you would like for me to review, put that in the comment section below and let me know what it is so I can uh, hunt it down and review it. Other than that, have a great day and I will see you on the next video.